Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. Yes, I know that we are behind on the monthly readings. It is now June 10th. Um, I do want to apologize. However, I wanna give you guys a quick update. Those of you guys that have been following me on all my other social media platforms, you guys have known about the family loss that we experienced and then now, we are dealing with some difficulty that we experienced with my father. So those of you guys that have watched the videos where he comes out, um, thank you guys for reaching out and all the love and support you've given us. If you guys are interested in any personal readings, you can find all of the links for the manifestation books, everything on there. You can find all of that on the description box below. All right, well, now to the nitty gritty, right? Let's get to it. This is going to be the june predictions for all zodiac signs we're going to begin here with gemini sun moon rising venus because it is gemini season for those of you guys that are gemini's brightest of blessings to all of you i want to wish you guys all the very best let's get to it let's see what spirit has for you guys i call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides spirits of light and love my ascended masters spirits of divination please step forward allow us to see here since we receive received the messages loud and clearly for all zodiac signs we're going to begin here with gemini sun moon rising venus all right here we go you guys stay tuned if you guys are new definitely subscribe to our my channel so that you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up let's get to it i don't want to waste you guys this time so here we go gemini let's see what you guys can expect for the month of june 2024 gemini sun moon rising venus let's see what's going on with my lovely gemini's if you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment so you guys can get uh, notifications of the most recent videos going up. Like I said, here we go, Gemini. Let's see what's going on for you guys. All right. So you guys are walking away or perhaps thinking of expansion and growth for some of you guys taking a leap of faith. I want to tell you guys that it is very important, very crucial for you guys to be very analytical. Do not take unnecessary risk. Uh, take risks that are necessary. What do I mean by that? There are risky moves that we can make, right? But there is also um, what is to your convenience, what is important right now at this point in time. So what they're telling you is do not make any type of irrational decisions. Do not rush into anything. Low and steady wins the race. There is a new beginning for some of you guys, some communication that came through. You could have been dealing with an earth energy. For others of you, you could be dealing with fire energy, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, or Leo. There are certain things that are going to be unfolding for the month of June for you guys. I feel like you guys are getting some type of revelation, some type of information that's coming through, where perhaps in the past people were trying to keep that away from you guys or keep you guys in the shadow about certain things. Let me fix this camera really quick. Okay. But what they're telling you is trust the process, my loves, because things are going to be revealed towards you or to you. Now, the advice position, you have the four of pentacles. Be smart about your money, you guys. Okay. It's going to be very important. Again, we talk about unnecessary risk. There's a difference between taking risky or making risky moves, and there is a difference between um, taking necessary risk. Now, the difference between that is do not be irrational. Do not make decisions on the whim, on your emotions, because emotions are temporary. But if it's something you've been thinking about or you've been planning for quite a while, and it is at this point in time that you feel like you have to make a move, then make that move, okay? But again, do not make unnecessary. Don't go out there making unnecessary risk. For some of you guys, it could be in connection to a or something related to a connection um, with the Page of Pentacles, wanting to hear back from them, wanting to hear some type of communication. And what they're telling you is if you've been the type that is more prone to holding on to like certain pride and ego, then maybe it's time for you to meet them halfway. You get what I'm saying? But if you're not, and you've been the type to actually reach out and actually put your effort and energy, then it's time for you to step back. It's time for you to protect yourself. Uh, you're being guided at this point in time. But do not put effort or energy towards things that are just not for you. Okay? 
So this is in every aspect. This could be with relationships. This could be in the job. This could be with people that you're dealing with. If in the past they've made you feel like they take you for granted or like you are the one to always feel other people's cups and you're being left empty. At this point, it's time for you to stand your ground. Know your power, Gemini. It is crucial and very important. And at this point, what they're telling you is it's important for you to take care of yourself. You cannot take care of other people without taking care of yourself. If you are trying to make a relationship work, you cannot continuously keep sacrificing yourself if they're not putting that effort. They have to meet you halfway. It's not if if you're not doing that and you're not allowing them to step up to do what is necessary for them, you're going to be continuously dealing with a situation where you're often feeling like you're being taken for granted. So be careful with that, Gemini, okay? All right, my loves, we are moving on. Let's see what's going on with Cancers. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are the messages for Cancers? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2024. Like I said, if you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment, let me know. I need that love and support right now so that I can get more motivated into focusing. And the reason why I'm giving you guys these videos, the reason why I'm back, I'm going to be honest, is because my dad is nothing but a fucking hustler. And he's taught me one thing. At the end of the day, we could be going through whatever we're going through. But at the end of the day, your work ethic is everything. So here I am. All right. All right. Here we go. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with cancers. Ooh. Ace of cups. For some of you guys dealing with emotional issues. For others of you guys, relationships. <laughs> Sun card here. All right, here we go. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Cancers. Okay. Let's see what's going on with Cancer. All right, Cancers. Let's get to it. You have the Ace of Pentacles in you. Beginning is what is in the horizon for you for this month. It's going to take you. Stop forcing things, okay? Stop getting in your own way. Stop getting in your way of happiness or in your way of manifestations. Sometimes we can overthink, overanalyze, and we get anxious. We start to experience a lot of anxiety. What they're telling you at this point in time, what's keeping you from progress or what's keeping you from getting momentum or experiencing momentum is the fact that sometimes you got to take a step back, okay? You got to stop putting so much effort and energy. Stop trying to force things. What's coming to mind is for some of you guys, if it's with relationships and you have a tendency of things going south real quick, then perhaps you're in the mentality of fixating on things and forcing things to like for them to pick up. Um, what they're telling you is you got to take a step back. Let things unfold in a very natural and organic way. In the past and passing, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So you've been trying really hard, right? really hard to manifest to see things unfold for you but you are the only one that's keeping yourself chained or you are the only one that's keeping your progress and momentum why because you overanalyze you overthink okay so what they're telling you right now is let go and the only way to let go is to trust the universe to allow it to unfold especially with the knight of pentacles here Whatever it is that you're going through right now, Cancer, it's going to be crucial and important to have patience. I feel like the universe is teaching you patience right now. The advice is, again, there is a lot of things that you are currently going through where you could be very much in your head or in your feelings about certain things. And what Spirit is telling you is you're the only one that's creating obstacles and difficulties, even though they may not be there. Your anxiousness, right? Your worry, your stress is what's causing all of these delays. You're going to experience momentum the moment you're able to release. So keep your mind and energy focused towards other things. One of the things I tell clients as an, ex uh, as an example when we're dealing with spell work, um, a lot of times they could be their worst enemy. Why? Because they are so much in anxiety and in worry and fear that they're vibrating to that. And they often keep their manifestations from happening quicker because they are resisting. So again, do not resist this process. It's necessary for you to go through this. The energy that's currently influencing you is the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is, again, focusing or almost putting your energy towards things that you want and really, or not putting your energy and focus towards things you want. You're more focused and concerned about the current situation or how unhappy you are. What Spirit is telling you is 
by focusing on that, you're going to experience or continuously keep experiencing those disappointments. Stop doing that. You got to let go of that. Now, the energy that is currently holding you back, the fear, is the Three of Swords. Being hurt, being betrayed. Um, you need to balance this out. So for the month of June, it's going to be very important to have control, full control of your mind and your way of thinking. Change your thought pattern. And the only way to do this is to fixate and concern yourself about what you want to unfold, what you want to experience, not what you've experienced in the past. Because the more you fear that, the more it's like, yes, Pinky, I've been dealing with nothing but disappointments in relationships. The more you fixate on that, the more you're going to be experiencing those manifestations. You got to let go of that. My advice, journaling, put your energy towards that. Do shadow work. This is really going to help you if you guys are interested in that. You can find our shadow book on the description box below. But really put your energy towards things that you want, not things you don't want. Because the more energy you put towards that, the more you're going to be experiencing difficulties. All right, my loves? All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what is their messages here for the month of June 2024. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2024. We have a card being popped out here. Ace of Swords. There is communication information that's coming through for some of you guys. Or perhaps having aha moments for a lot of you. All right. Being able to see clearly. Being able to see the, the reality of things. For some of you guys, it is, this is information that's coming through. Okay. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. That's what's going on with my Leos. For the month of June 2024. All right, here we go. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Communication is coming through. In regards to a new beginning or some type of new desire, some type of new endeavor for some of you guys, a new project that you're going to be dealing with. Where there was lack of momentum or communication, it's finally coming through. For some of you guys, this is in regards to a person from your past, a relationship or partnership. What you've been hoping for is some type of communication that happens in this month of June, okay? That's finally coming through. The advice position here with the Five of Pentacles. Stop feeling like you don't deserve what you want, Leo. And I know I don't have a tendency of telling you guys that because usually you have very high expectations or very high uh, confidence. But I feel like something or a situation that you've been dealing with has really shooken or tested your confidence, your belief in yourself. Um, there's momentum that's going to be picking up here. The energy that's currently around you is the King of Cups. Be guided with your intuition, Leo. Listen to your emotions right now. It's going to be very crucial and very important. Why? Because we're walking towards the Empress energy, giving or receiving everything that you are worthy and deserving of. But the only way to do this is to listen to your intuition. King of Cups usually indicates emotion, right? But this is a master of emotions. This is a person that is okay with being vulnerable. Why? Because the reward from that vulnerability is going to be much more happy or happiness that comes from that. So with the Empress card, know your worth and listen to your intuition. You will not be led astray. Now, the Devil card does indicate, again, having, this is the advice for June for you Leos out there. Whatever it comes to make, making a decision or following what is, for some of you guys could be confusing, following your heart, right? You may feel like your heart is telling you one thing, your head is telling you another. What they're telling you right now is listen to your heart. That's going to be very crucial and very important because part of listening to your mind has a lot to do with ego or toxicity that you've outgrown or should have outgrown at this point in time. So whatever decisions come up in the month of June, it's going to be very important to be authentic and true to yourself. Try the best you can to listen to your emotions and your intuition, Leo. You will succeed in doing so. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2024. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2024. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. And you guys could definitely stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to be more proactive on here. We have to kick ass, you guys. 
I got somebody to make proud. <laughs> Which I know at some point my daddy will be able to look at these videos and I will show him. So here we go, Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2024. Here we go, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with you guys. For the month of June, Virgo. King of Swords, communication that's coming through about a situation where you felt like you were uncertain or perhaps for some of you guys, there wasn't much clarity. Could be in regards to a situationship for others of you. It could be in regards to relationship or partnership. Communication opens up. I feel like the person or people that you've been dealing with when it comes to emotions have been a little bit closed off. And the reason for that is I feel like they have a lot of things going on in their life right now. For some of you guys, timing was something that was currently testing you guys or this connection. But that's going to be unfolding for you guys for this month of June. I feel like they're reaching out or they're communicating about their fears and what they've been through. For some of you guys, you're dealing with a person that maybe was multiple dealing, meaning they were dealing with you and someone else. But I feel like in the month of June, they have a realization. And that realization is they're no longer trying to play the field. They know exactly what it is that they want and they want you, Virgo. For others of you, if you were dealing with a situation that had a lot to do with you knowing very aware that you were the third party, I feel like at this point, the reason why you guys are having obstacles or difficulties is because now you're wanting more or you're expecting more from them. And that's definitely what you're going to be getting. However, I am hearing that the ball is going to be in your court, but I feel like for the majority of you guys, you're probably going to decide the moment that this person is willing to put in the effort, you've lost interest. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that you feel like if you had to choose between two people, you should choose that other person because I don't want to be no second choice type of energy. Although I do feel they're choosing you as their primary one or they're choosing you, they're literally making the decision to be with you. I feel like just the feeling of you having gone through certain situations where it made you feel like they were had they had to choose, you're like, I'm removing myself from the whole situation overall. But I am hearing that the ball will be in your court, Virgo. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2024. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Libra for the month of June 2024. What are the messages for Libras here? Let's see. Here we go. Libra. Oh, okay. Here we go, Libra. The Hanged Man. This is Piscean Energy for some of you guys. It is about understanding or realizing that you're no longer sacrificing yourself, perhaps not dealing with situations where you've put a lot of effort. Sometimes maybe you sacrifice yourself at the expense of knowing that you don't want that, but you feel bad for people, okay? with the eight of pentacles as the obstacle to overcome it's no longer you trying i feel like for some of you libras also you're going to be feeling like in the past you probably try to overlook certain red flags or certain things that people would do and you were like okay i feel bad for them so you would hold on to it a little bit longer i feel like you're not going to be doing that no more you're being empowered the full card here it is like looking towards the experiences that you've gone through and a lot of it has to do with situations or circumstances you put yourself in that were unnecessary you're knowing exactly what it is that you want and you're walking towards that and you're being unapologetic about it libra i feel like for some of you guys your mind or overthinking over analyzing or feeling bad for people has kept you in situations that you weren't meant to deal with with the Queen of Pentacles as the advice position, you're being more practic practical about your approach. You're being practical about what it is that you want and what you expect from other people. The energy currently influencing you is the King of Wands. So you are more empowered. You know exactly what it is that you want and you're going to be unapologetic about it, which I am not surprised. The world card here in the position of the fear right? You're, you're wanting the fear or hope. You're wanting to let go of certain things that you know have kept you from your happiness or what you deserve, what you know that you deserve deep down. And you're no longer going to, like I said, be apologizing, apologizing about it. 
Now, the final outcome is the High Priestess with the World card. The moment you start putting yourself first, Libra, you're going to be experiencing major momentum, massive expansion and growth. This is in relationships. This is in your finances. This is in your career. This is with the people that surround you. You're no longer allowing people to just kind of, you know, go with the flow. You you know that if this person is not giving you the type of energy that you want, you're no longer going to be dealing with that. And you're going to see massive expansion and growth from this Libra. Good for you, Libra. You deserve this. And I hope that you can stick with that for this month because you're going to be seeing or experiencing a lot of momentum from that. All right. All right, my lovelies. So let's see what's going on here with Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2024. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys are interested in any personal readings or any type of spell work, you can find that on the description box below. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for you guys for this month of June 2024. All right, we have the Nine of Cups. Obstacle to overcome is the Queen of Wands. So for some of you guys, you're experiencing a lot of growth, a lot of advancement. The Queen of Wands usually indicates to me as an obstacle. Um, pay attention to the people that are advising you, Scorpio, in this month of June. What do I mean by this? With the Queen of Wands showing up in your obstacle position could represent dealing with the person that could be ha or have a tendency of being selfish. It's almost like they give advice but it's always advice to what suits them or what is best of their interest. And what they're telling you is be cautious of that. Listen to your intuition. You're being guided right now, Scorpio, and it's going to be crucial and very important to learn to decipher or to learn to know the difference when people are giving you advice that resonates to you or advice because it puts them in a having a higher the upper hand basically so again be careful and be mindful of that here we go high priestess and the moon card right at the center is what you've thought up until now your true happiness or what you're trying to go towards is it because it makes you happy or it's because it's going to make you feel fulfilled or is it because you're doing it for other people because other people have told you what they you know what they expect from you what they want from you that type of energy so i feel like in the month of june you're going to be tested you're going to realize that a lot of your hopes, desires, and wishes are not necessarily aligned. For some of you guys, not necessarily aligned to your partner, not necessarily aligned to your kids, to your family, whatever expectations of other people are. It is about understanding and deciphering. Is it because I'm being pushed to this or I've been, you know, they've been talking to me about it for so long that they've convinced me this is what I want. But is it really what I want or do I deserve to choose myself? what it is that I want for myself. And obviously you already know the answer. It is what's best for you. So I feel like the month of June is going to test you in aspects about things that you've wanted to accomplish or achieve. Maybe you're accomplishing them this month or experiencing some type of success, but you're also realizing it wasn't necessary because I wanted it. It was more so because other people were kind of expecting or relying on me. Um, and it's okay to change your mind. This is something I've told you guys for many, many years. If you guys follow me for a long time, you already know. Choose what makes sense to you. Even if it doesn't make sense to other people. You know, even if it, it even if they don't see the whole picture, it's okay. If what you're doing or working towards makes sense to you, that's all that matters. And I feel like for some of you guys, you're achieving things this month, but you're also realizing it's not necessarily what you wanted. It probably had to do with the people surrounding you. And what they're telling you is be truth and honest to yourself. You will definitely succeed. You will definitely have opportunities. You will definitely continue to expand. But it comes down to you being honest with yourself, being truthful to yourself, being genuine and authentic to what you want and not so much relying on what other people expect from you, Scorpio. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what they can expect for the month of June 2024. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Sagis. Let's see what's going on with you guys for the month of June 2024. One more shuffle. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. 
Sagis, let's see what's going on with you guys for this month of June. We have the Death card, major transformation here, Plutonian energy for some of you guys. Your Pluto is being activated. The obstacle to overcome is the magician. Stop fearing your power, Sagittarius. There's something that you're ending. There's something that you're leaving behind. And you're questioning, like, are you ready? And the answer to this is you are definitely ready. It is enough about you sacrificing. It is enough about you doing for other people. It is time for you to learn to be selfish. It is important for you to learn to put yourself first and be unapologetic about it, Sagittarius. There is a revelation that's happening. There is like an awakening. For some of you guys, it's you understanding that, you know what, everything I ever wanted from a specific person is not coming through. But it doesn't mean that I'm not deserving of that. It just means it has to be with someone else. So for some of you guys, you're walking away from something. You're realizing that you're not going to waste away because someone can get their shit together. You're realizing that you've outgrown the situation. You've put a lot of effort. You've put a lot of years. You've put up with a lot of bullshit. You're not doing that anymore. You're walking away from conflict. You're walking away from anything that does not bring peace to you. And you're being up unapologetic about it. You're being truthful to you, to your true intentions, your true feelings, how you really feel about the situation. And you're expanding and walking away from this. Anything that is no longer serving you, you're walking away from it. I see a lot of growth that's happening. And for some of you guys, you are most definitely going to be ending toxic connections, relationships, friendships, even walking away from jobs that are toxic. All right, my loves, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2024. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2024. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. Here we go. Let's see what's going on with my Cappies. I hope you guys are not dealing with half the shit we've been dealing with. All right, here we go, Capricorn. You have the Ace of Wands, a new beginning. There is newness and energy here. You're walking towards or taking new endeavors, new journeys, new beginnings. That your primary focus here is stability. Uh, this could be stability in regards to relationships. This could be stability towards your finances and career. But more than anything, this has to do with the stability that you are seeking within yourself. So what do I mean by this? Whether it's relationships, partnerships, connections, business, whatever. You are seeking to build something on a solid foundation. You're no longer dealing with half-assing anything, meaning if people only come to you whenever they need you, you're cutting them out. If people are only thinking of you because it's convenient for them, they're cut, you're cutting them out. If you're realizing or going through it and realizing those that are truly there for you, this is Spirit's way of letting you know, cut the rest out. If you are dealing with a lot of the feeling of un, like, uncertainty what spirit is telling you is do not doubt yourself capricorn you're being tested right now but you have the power and the will to get through it believe in yourself and know who you are there's a new beginning a new cycle that is unfolding for you okay with the five of pentacles sorry with the five of wands here what they're telling me is conflict anything that's keeping you from loving yourself you're walking away from and that's one of your main energies for this month of june the devil card has the advice position know your power Know what the fuck you bring to the table. Know what you're worthy of and do not settle for anything less than that. The king of wands in the energy of the energy currently surrounding you, you may be dealing with the fire energy. Again, if you felt like they've taken you for granted or they're not putting the effort that you would want at this point, you're, you're willing to cut them out. You're willing to no longer deal with half-ass anythings, whether it's finances, career, whatever it is, you're walking away from anything that is basically interrupting your peace because you're choosing your peace. You're choosing to take care of yourself. And that is very crucial and very important for you guys for this month of June. So in anything that you're dealing with, if it comes down to you choosing other people or choosing yourself, and by choosing other people, it means you're sacrificing something about yourself, walk away from that Capricorn. It's about learning to choose yourself, baby. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2024. Let's see what's going on with my Aquarians. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus 
Let's see what's going on with you guys for this month of June 2024. One more shuffle. Let's see what's going on here. What is the vivid imagery that they are painting for us for this month of June, Aquarius? I know a lot of you Aquarians have been going through it. Obviously, you have Pluto there. It's a lot of transformation that's happening. What they're telling you is cut people out. Focus on yourself, even if it gets too noisy. If you have to shut yourself out. If you have to become a homebody for a little bit, do exactly that, Aquarius. Why? Because it's interrupting your peace. Because you're letting people get in your mind or you're allowing people to influence the way you think or the way you do or make decisions. And it's not to the best of your interest. You need to find balance right now. That's going to be very crucial and very important. Learning to find balance. And this also means finding balance in the things that you want. Stop trying to tackle everything at once. It's going to be important in the month of June for you to be focused. So what do I mean by this? Prioritize. Make the decision of what is most important for you and what it is that you're capable of doing right now. And that's what you want to focus on. Okay? That's going to be crucial. That's what's going to bring the balance that you are so much seeking right now. And this is in every aspect, in love, in romance, finances, career, all of it. It almost feels like you're being shaken or the ground that you walk on is being like shaken from you. But what they're telling you is in order for you to succeed, you need to find the focus. So prioritize, write down, even if you have to, what is most important for you at this point in time and tackle those things to get done. Okay. Why? Because it's about no longer sacrificing yourself. It's about no longer doing for other people. It's about Learn, they're giving me survival mode, but I feel like it's not so much survival mode. It's about you learning to put yourself and be selfish. The advice position, position nine of pentacles. Know what you deserve and know that you are worthy of it. So what do I mean by this? If you've been dealing with a job or like a not much progress in your finances or whatever, they're not appreciating the work you're doing, start expanding. Start applying to different places. Start looking at what's out there for you. When it comes to relationships, if you are unhappy, you know, start focusing on yourself. If they kind of resent you for that, then it's time for you to walk away because you know what? A person that loves you is going to want what's best for you. You're walking away. Exactly what I just said. I feel like you guys are being unapologetic about it. You know your worth. For a lot of you guys, you're walking towards a genuine and true connection, especially those of you guys that have either been single for a while for others of you, those of you guys that have been really trying to work really hard to force something, it's just not working. And the universe is going to test you right now. And I feel that they're testing you because you need to know that you deserve better than that, Aquarius. For others of you, it's realizing shit about the past that you fucked up. And it's about learning to be a better person, not for the person you're going to be with, but for you. Be a better person for yourself because only then can you attract a person that is good and that is going to be good for you. All right, my loves. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2024. What are the messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. Let me know in the comments below. Here we go, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you. For the month of June 2024. Here we go, Pisces. Ten of Pentacles. It's about stability. It's about longevity. It's about what is making sense right now. Because you're looking at the bigger picture. You're looking towards the future. It is about planning for the future. For others of you here with the Empress as an obstacle. Do you know you're worth Pisces? Because if you don't, I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> that Saturn sitting in your sign is going to teach you that. I see your luck about to turn. I see you guys moving in a very positive way. Your finances are definitely going to be picking up for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. There is major momentum when it comes to success and when it comes to growth. But here's the thing. What I'm seeing here is for some of you guys, there's going to be a revelation. You're realizing that the reason why you're not growing or expanding has a lot to do with the people or the person that you've chosen to be with. So there's a realization that's happening. It's an understanding that you deserve better and you're going to go towards it. Pay attention to who motivates you right now, Pisces. 
I feel like for some of you guys, a person or for some of you guys, a new person that has come to, into your life, it's almost like they're whipping you into action. And the reason for it is because they believe in you. And I feel that that belief, that, you know, hopefulness type of energy is really empowering you. For others of you, you're going to feel boggled down. You're going to feel like the person you're with is not empowering you. And you're walking away from that. Again, like I said, it's about unionship. It's about knowing what you deserve. It's about being unapologetic about it and going towards exactly what you deserve. And for some of you guys, that means making a decision you don't want to make. But you will definitely be making that in the month of June, whether it's uh, difficult or not. And even if you try to resist it, Pisces, you're going to be forced to make that decision this month. All right, my loves, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with the Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2024. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2024. Let's see what's going on with my Aries people. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. Here we go. Sorry if I'm talking extremely fast. I am channeling. I've been channeling and it's coming through very, very powerful. So if I'm talking too fast, you may want to rewind so that you can fully digest the messages for you. Here we go, Aries. Chariot card, you're making a decision. You're making a decision about something where perhaps in the past you were very guarded or perhaps you kept your blessing because you were scared. There was some type of fear here. The magician, you're realizing that everything you've ever wanted or everything that you've ever needed, you've had within yourself. And I feel like for some of you guys, you're experiencing that you've experienced recently something that really made you feel some type of fulfillment but you push it away because of fear. But I feel like you're making the decision in June and you're being unapologetic about it. You're rushing towards it because you don't want to lose this opportunity. For some of you guys, it could be happiness. Maybe for some of you guys, and this is something that a lot of clients tell me, of course I want happiness. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that deep down on a subconscious level, you feel like you're worthy of it. It depends on your childhood. It depends on your trauma. It depends on what you've been through. Sometimes we self-sabotage and I feel like you did that, but I feel like in this month you're realizing, you know what, this is what fucking makes me happy and I'm going to go for it and I'm going to put the effort, I'm going to put the energy towards it. I'm not going to let this person get away. I'm not going to let this opportunity, you know, basically rush out of my fingers. I'm going to do everything I possibly have to do to step up because I'm worthy of it, because I'm deserving of it. And by you doing that, it's going to change the complete trajectory of what your life has been up until now. For some of you guys, it is complete happiness, especially those of you guys that have been seeking relationships or partnerships that hasn't worked out. I feel like you will be or have been dealing with someone that makes you emotionally fulfilled or perhaps fulfills you in every single aspect. But there is something about a defense mechanism kicking in. For some of you guys, you push them away. For others of you, you self-sabotage. But I feel like in this month, you're realizing I am not letting my happiness slip through my fingers. And good for you, Aries. Do not allow your happiness to slip through your fingers. Fight for it. Fight for it. Because you know what? Fighting for something that you truly believe in is worth it. All right, my loves? All right, here we go. Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2024. Let's see what spirit some messages here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more shuffle. Okay, thank you, spirits. Taurus, oh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. All right, here we go, Taurus. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. Here we go, Taurus. Chariot, oh, sorry, the Emperor. <laughs> Stability, power, authority something you've struggled with in the past or perhaps you've had a lot of instability in the past you're starting to experience the fruits of your labor Taurus you're starting to experience momentum you're starting to experience growth and advancement the month of June is going to test you in what aspect your self-belief what do you believe about yourself ten of Ca sorry ten of Pentacles and the wheel of fortune you're realizing that it doesn't you know how people say some people are born with good luck and some are not? That's not true. You make your own luck by what? By knowing what you deserve and not settling for anything less. And I feel like your luck is about to change, but it's not 
It doesn't have to do with destiny, astrology. It doesn't have to do with none of that. It has more to do with because your belief system and yourself is growing. There's been an expansion. There's been a growth here. Where for a lot of you guys, you had to internalize certain things or realize some certain things about yourself. Certain things about your worthiness. Certain things about what you deserve. And being unapologetic about it. For others of you, the moment you started realizing that you deserved better, you started experiencing better. And the month of June is only going to serve to you guys as a validation that you're on the right path. Anything that doesn't feel right to you or doesn't make sense to you at this point in time, we're talking about how you feel. Walk away from that Taurus because that's what's keeping you from your progress. For others of you, it's realizing that you started doing good the moment you started believing more in yourself or the moment you started to choose to put your happiness before anything else. And you're going to continuously keep experiencing that, but learn to put yourself first. Learn to stand your ground on your convictions, on things that matter for you. That's going to make the major difference. That's how you're going to experience blessings and happiness through the belief system of what you believe about yourself, Taurus. Beautiful energy here. All right, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment. I will see you guys soon. Until then, I wish you guys the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.